Hey guys, welcome back to another video. According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. If you enjoy our content and would like to support us, do consider subscribing. This helps YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. How are you doing? Like, how are you really doing? In these trying times, everyone is struggling with something behind the scenes. Whether it be mental health difficulties, financial problems, relationship struggles, or school issues, life can feel so difficult sometimes. In perspective, life is really short, considering we spend about 26 years of our entire lives sleeping. So how do we make the most of life knowing the uncertainties? You have to ask yourself, what does it mean to live a full life? And how can I achieve this? Here are eight habits that can help you live your best life. Number one, take care of all aspects of your health. Do you eat a well-balanced diet? While maintaining all aspects of your health may seem tedious, in the long run, you'll be happier and healthier. Put in a little time and effort every day to take a walk, eat some fruits and vegetables, or take some self-care time to help prevent dealing with health problems later on in life. After all, prevention is much cheaper, less stressful, and overall healthier than trying to treat any symptoms. Knowing this, try to get into the habit of treating yourself with the same love and care you treat those you love with. Number two, self-reflect. Have you tried journaling before? If so, how was it? And did you enjoy it? Many people don't like to journal because it seems too time consuming or they feel pressured to have the prettiest, most expensive supplies. However, what's really important is taking the time for self-reflection, whether it be by jotting down your thoughts on a scrap of paper or recording a voice memo. Taking even five minutes a day for self-reflection can help you immensely. It allows you to figure out your values, what you truly like and dislike, and learn from past experiences. So try to figure out what reflecting methods work best for you and be authentic about it. Number three, maintain social connections. Do you make it a habit to prioritize social connections? While it's hard during a pandemic, it's more important than ever. Everyone needs a support system, no matter how independent or introverted they may be. Try to make it a habit to maintain social connections with friends and family, even if it's simply a quick conversation once every few weeks. It'll help you lead a balanced, well-rounded life. After all, your ups and downs are meant to be shared with people who love and care about you. Number four, focus. Have you ever tried to multitask? While it's tempting to do so, according to a study by Stanford University, multitasking is one of the biggest myths out there. In reality, your brain cannot properly do two things at once. Instead, it switches between them rapidly, giving the illusion of multitasking. You'll end up taking the same amount of time or longer to do the tasks with a significant decrease in quality. This means you should try to get in the habit of focusing on one thing at a time. If you're doing work, shut off the television you'll likely end up doing higher quality work faster. Once the work is done, you can fully enjoy your show afterward. Number five, live in the moment. When something exciting happens, is your first instinct to take your phone out and snap a picture. Many people claim they do this so they can look back on and remember fond memories. However, which is really going to bring you more enjoyment? A photo or fully experiencing moments with your friends and family? In the end, your thoughts and emotions are likely going to give you more enjoyment and fulfillment than trying to take a photo for social media. With this in mind, try to put your phone away and truly enjoy the people and experiences you get to be a part of. Number six, manage your inner critic. Do you have a little voice in the back of your head telling you that you're not good enough, you're gonna fail, or you're not attractive enough? There is a lot of pressure to be flawless because we see perfection from social media around us everywhere. This can lead to low self-esteem and a constant feeling of not being enough. While it can be hard to fix the root cause of low self-esteem, you should try to recognize when you're being too hard on yourself. If you can get into the preemptive habit of realizing when your inner critic is getting the best of you, you can break the thought pattern. Try to remember that no one is perfect and that's what makes people so uniquely beautiful. Number seven, complain less. What's the worst day you've ever had? At the end of it, did you let it all out and have an hour long rant session with a friend or family member? Complaining can be stress relieving, but if it gets out of hand, it can end up doing more harm than good. For example, by complaining about something you can't change, you're giving it more power to ruin your day. Also, you're more likely to be resentful and hold grudges against people you may not even see again. This extra burden can weigh you down without you even realizing it. 
Instead, try to let go of things you cannot change, especially past experiences you didn't learn anything from. Remember that at the end of the day, complaining too much doesn't make you happier, so why waste time on it? And number eight, don't be afraid to take action. What's something that you've always wanted to do? Many people are afraid to try new things, whether it be fear of failure, thinking it's already too late, or not being able to find the time. However, there really is no better time to take action than the present. You can't assume you won't be good at something unless you try. And even if you aren't the best, the most important thing is to have fun and enjoy yourself. It's never too late to try something new. So try to make time to do something you've always wanted to do. Do you think you'll try to implement some of these habits? Even though we can't fully control what happens to us, we can at least have positive growth mindsets. If you try your best to maintain healthy habits, chances are you'll end up living the best life you can. And in the end, that's all we can do. So you don't have to worry about being perfect or trying to control everything. Doing your best is enough and you are enough. Do you think these habits will help you in life? If so, how and which ones? Feel free to comment down below with your suggestions, experiences, or feedback. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to share it with friends that might find insight in this video as well. Make sure to subscribe to hit the notification bell for more content.